Breaking news, my lovely, wonderful people. Not be smarty do the apple, so US, eh, now be United States of America, give Pro Tinubu Group permission to use iconic park for anti Tinubu protests. You know, say they do the protest. So Nigeria now do the news for a long time. A lot of people, a lot of persons have been asking the same question. How did it get here? Well, in the midst of all this, DSS said, doctor say, we say, they don't cover matter where eh, some people won't make sure, say, Tinubu not be president or blah, 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 blah. But the truth remains, what do you mean some people do not want Tinubu to be president? Okay, what do you mean, you know, people don't want Tinubu to be president? Can you see that there are really serious, you know, if there are issues and there are matters to be sorted, those matters must be deeply considered and those matters must be really looked at, you know. If the case is still in court. And so please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. U.S. gives pro OB group permission to use iconic pack for anti tinubu protests. Authorities of the United States has granted permission to supporters of Labour Party presidential candidate of the presidential candidate Peter Obi to use a PAC to protest the outcome of the 2023 presidential election in Nigeria. The permit allow about a hundred protesters to convey on the iconic Lafayette Park in Washington D.C. on April the third for four hours. Authorities of the United Kingdom granted the permission to the supporters of the Labour Party. It permits about 100 protesters to convey conveniently at the park or in Washington, D.C. on the 3rd of April for four hours. Located across the streets of the White House, the park is a prominent feature of Americans' history. We, the diaspora, are demonstrating to call the authorities of the U.S. government Joe Biden's administration not to recognize the INEC winner of the self-organized 2023 presidential election. The, Dep the United States Department of State, the organizers and anyone in the protest must comply with the directives of the United States Park Police. The protesters were warned that all sideways work area must remain unobstructed to allow reasonable use of the area by pedestrians, vehicles, and other park visitors. They have been given opportunity to go ahead and make this protest, but must not do it to hinder others. So, even for U.S., problem don't they, for Tinubu, for U.S., problem don't they and that's why in nigeria the doctors say we say peter obio and the people say nine nah, supporters they won't come out tinubu where they won't really come out tinubu that's the question we must ask ourselves is that true is that true that you know is it true that they are about to remove tinubu and if it's not why is the alarm why are people afraid in nigeria I mean, Tinubu supporters, why are they afraid? Why can't they, you know, if you think Peter Obi has no, you know, if he has really no reason or no right as to what he's saying and he's just saying it, then it is time that you also, if somebody brings a case against you, you also go ahead and ensure that you have your, your counter ready to ensure that you counter such that has been said against you but in this case it doesn't seem very much like apc wants to counter what peter will be the you know the obvious you know part that peter will be has stated out that you know is feeling with regards to all this you know so there is real reason for concern because every single person is wondering and asking the same question how did we get here what exactly is going on so when you look at the matter, you begin to ask yourself the same question. Peter Obi, a man who you know, contested the presidential election, and right about now, he's telling the world, telling everyone that I'm not happy. My mandate was stolen. It was not what you know we planned, I envisaged. 
Some persons took over that which was mine. And he is very, very serious on that, saying that he feels very strongly that, you know, that which belonged to him has been truncated, has been taken by another. You know, he said he feels it's been taken by another. He's not happy, you know, and he feels that whatever has gone on, you know, are clear indications that, you know, people are ready to do and undo for them to just get, you know, get something that is really not theirs. So this is causing real fear down the spine of APC. And that's why you see all the issues coming up, you know, being raised as against, you know, what really should be. If anything is going to happen, if change is going to come, Nigerians, we will have to work at it. We will have to ensure that we demand that which belongs to us. You know, we, we demand it. We must demand it. We must demand it. We must make sure that we are getting our own beat. And we're not just sitting down there and watching some people decide what happens to us. No, no, no. That's not how it's done. It's a together effort. It's, it's something that we must all do together. And nobody should sit back there and think that, you know, you can just make it work all by yourself without, you know, us working together. The opportunity of working together so that it can give us advantage over some cases and some matters that are, you know, on ground and bring us into the right place. Okay? So it is what it is. It is a matter of urgent attention and every single one of us, okay, must do what is right. And we must do what is right by us. So it is what it is. Again, I'll say that. And um, Nigerians, I just feel it's high time that we all ensure that we do everything, humanly speaking, possible to bring this country from the current dispensation, you know, of what is going on, to bring us back into the right space of what is supposed to be so that we can move forward. Yes, don't forget, you have a voice. And so we all together must speak out and refuse continuous oppression being instigated as us, as a nation. We all must rise up and refuse oppressiveness. You know, please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Like us, share, subscribe. God bless. Have a fantastic day. Bye for now. Bye-bye.